Hey everybody, it's Bernadette from Blackpaw, and I'm here with my new Blackpaw, Kira. She's our, our youngest shepherd that we have right now. And I wanted to share a little story with you that I thought might resonate with a lot of owners and maybe give you like a little aha moment into some of your dog's behavior. So Kira here is about 18 months old. And um, about a week ago, we got to go to a dog training seminar. Um, held at a hotel, various ballrooms with speakers, lots of people sitting, and you're allowed to bring your dog. So lots of dogs there. So Kira here uh, takes part in our pack runs twice a day. So she's super social with other dogs, really, really friendly. Um, of course, she's 18 months old. So many times when we see problem behaviors arise, it begins around uh, the beginning of mental maturity, between 18 months and about two years old for most breeds. So anyhow, long story short, the first day at the conference, Kira laid at my feet, no problems, such a good girl, all kinds of dogs and people came by, no issues. Now, here at home on our farm, Kira and my other dogs get to run on the farm and swim in the creek and be farm dogs. So they're usually like really dirty. So they don't come all the way into my house. They get to come into the mudroom and Kira sleeps in a crate at night. Well, going to this conference, I thought, how fun is this going to be? I get to bring my dog. She can stay at the hotel with me and go to this conference, and it's going to be super fun. So Kira had her bath. She got all cleaned up and uh, got to stay in my hotel room with me, and I even let her come in the bed, which I don't recommend. <laughs> okay? So the very next day, we go to another one of the speakers, another one of the conferences in the ballroom with all the other dogs and everything, and every dog that passes us now, Kira is growling a little bit at them. And this is a behavior we have never seen before. So the one thing that changed was Kira got to sleep in the bed with me. She got to be in a hotel room with me. She got to be on a road trip with me. So, you know, Kira is a working line German Shepherd. She would love to be a police dog. <laughs> she would love to protect her person. Go ahead. What I want to share with you is so often when we have dogs come into training who have had issues in the past with barking and lunging at other dogs on the leash or growling at people that come into the house or snapping at people that come in the house. One question we always ask is where does the dog sleep? And many times the answer is that the dog sleeps in the bed with the owners. Most recently someone just told me the dog even sleeps under the covers with them. And as silly as it sounds, that seems to be a real trigger for dogs to begin guarding their owners. So if you have a dog and you're struggling with this reactivity on the leash or in your house towards people or other dogs, a really foundational place to start to correct that behavior is to get the dog out of the bed and sometimes even out of the bedroom. So sleeping in a crate in another part of the house would be great. You know, if your dog, I understand if your dog is older, they're over two, most dogs don't need to sleep in a crate anymore over the age of two. And I get if you don't wanna put your dog back in a crate, that's okay. Give him a dog bed out in the family room, another part of the house where he's not in your bed and he's not in your bedroom. Especially if you have any of these breeds that have been bred for guarding behavior. So German Shepherds, Dobermans, Rottweilers, Anatolian Shepherds, Conning Corsos, um, Great Pyrenees, we see this with a lot. So any of the flock guarding breeds, any of the guarding breeds, many of the working breeds would, would really like to be protective. And the more you have them in the bed and in the bedroom, um, the more you're gonna have that issue. So just something I wanted to share with you guys and hopefully it resonates with some of you, maybe an aha moment and you can see where you can start to make some small changes to improve that with your dog. All right, hope that helped.